fishing on a eight foot four weight Rawson cane fly rod submarine design with a short head weight full floating line on with the overhang marker. Check it. eight foot four weight cane fly rod here today. I've baited up with dog biscuits. I'm using a single deer hair fly. Oh, just seen one rising. On it, I'm using a short head four weight with the overhang marker. The overhang marker is a six foot section of red, which tells me when not to have too much line out when I'm force casting in the air. You know, people extend line, extend line, it gets too much and then it all falls around. The red bit tells me exactly how much to have and then when to haul and fire it. You get massive distances. Not that I need distance today. The fish are only here. I'm baiting up, baiting up. Oh, carp on cane. Does it get better than that? The short head has got, on this one, a four weight. It's got a 29 foot head, but the taper is designed to give beautiful roll casts. Three color, it's got a four foot section at the front, which is in a very stealthy gray color, very low diameter tip. So the fish can't see the fly line landing at the front. Really got to try and make sure that it doesn't blow onto me. It's a relatively short rod at eight foot. So in terms of the rod, there's quite a lot of working against me and the wind and the short head really helps with that. You can quickly get a line in the air and quickly fire it out. It loads the rod quick and deep to give you maximum distance. Since I started using fiberglass rods to catch carp, I've seen a lot of people doing it, using my California rods and other rods. I'm taking that a step further today with this Rawson cane rod. Cane is a very, very robust material. You know, I'm not worried about it pulling in double figure carp in the slightest. I'm more worried about me hitting it on car roofs and things like that. Fish up feeding now. See this red section? Red section that goes into the white section there. That's the overhang marker. It's present on all our fly lines apart from the competition lines. It tells me exactly when to shoot the line. Anglers all around the world are saying it's really transformed their casting and their fishing because they can make consistently good casts and they can know why they're making good casts so they can re replicate it, do it again and again and again, you know, not just make one good cast and then wonder, oh, how did that happen? You know, this red bit tells me how to make a good cast every single time. You can see I'm casting backwards here with the wind. This red bit is helping me do that. I bring the red bit to my hand, pick it up. One false cast to get control. And straight down. Oh! 
<laughs> Mate, did you see the little dance? The carp dance, the carp shuffle. <laughs> Missed him. See the little carp dance. Fried load of biscuits in. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I pulled it out of it again. Oh, and again. Come on. What's going on? They're taking it, but I just can't hook them. They're taking it, they're taking it. Just can't hook them. Really can't see with these, with the light the way it is. You have to be able to see the fly boss. You don't know when to strike. What? 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 Well, I mean, he's, he had it in his mouth. It was in his mouth. What is going on? Yeah, it's more like it, isn't it? Finally got one to stick after losing about 20. Oh, who needs carbon fiber? Look at that cane rod. Look at that cane bent double. <laughs> It's more like it. You should always bring a gilly with you. Look at that cane rod bending. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. On a cane four weight, doesn't get better than that.